Today's video is truly special and I highly recommend you don't miss it especially if you only have one Mac because this video will save your time and frustration if your Mac OS ever fails. In this video tutorial I will show you how to create a hidden offline Mac OS recovery. This recovery functions similar to internet recovery but is faster, more reliable and does not require an internet connection. So this means you can easily reinstall your Mac operating system anytime without a USB drive or internet connection. And the best part is that this method works on all Apple computers and all operating systems. Sound amazing right? Let's dive in. To create an offline recovery for macOS, you will need to have the complete macOS installer. You can visit the Apple support page to download your desired macOS installer. For the demo, we will create an offline recovery of macOS Sikova, the latest version available at the time of this video recording. However, you can download and use any other version of macOS and follow the same steps. After downloading the macOS installer, open the Disutility app. From the view menu, select Show All Devices. In the left sidebar, select the top level of your hard drive and click the Partition button. Click the plus button to add a new partition to your hard drive. Now choose a storage size of 16GB or more depending on your requirements. Choose a name for your partition. From the format drop down menu, select macOS extended journal. Everything is ok. Now hit the apply button to partition your hard drive. After partitioning, click the done button and close the Disutility app. We now have a new partition. We will convert this partition into an offline recovery. For that, open your terminal application. Don't worry, it won't be complicated. You only need to copy and paste two simple commands here and that's all. So copy the first command from the video description and paste it into your terminal application. Next, replace MZ Learning with the name of your hard drive partition. Then hit the enter key. Now type in your login password and hit the enter key. Type Y for confirmation and hit the enter key again. This process will copy macOS recovery image to your hard drive partition and make it bootable. Once the process is complete, we will have a bootable macOS Sikova partition. Next, we need to hide this partition to prevent interruptions and protect it from accidental deletion. This is why recovery partitions are typically hidden. Anyway, rename the partition to recovery. Next, copy the second terminal command from the video description and paste it into your terminal application. After hitting the enter key, you may notice that the recovery partition is still visible, but it's grayed out. To make it completely invisible, type kill finder command in the terminal or simply go to your Apple menu, select force quit and then relaunch your finder. Once you do this, the recovery partition will be invisible. We are almost done. One last step remains. When you open your finder window, you will see the partition in the finder sidebar. To remove it, right click on it and choose remove from sidebar and that's all. The partition is now completely hidden and won't interrupt you. Now you might be wondering how to access this partition when you need it. It's easy. First open your app and then from the sidebar 
right click on your recovery partition and choose show in finder now you can add or delete files as needed let's check our recovery restart your mac and immediately hold down the power button on apple silicon mac or option button on intel mac when the boot picker screen appears choose the recovery partition and hit the enter key you can see that my mac is booted from the recovery partition now whenever my system crashes i can reinstall it without a usb drive or internet connection so friends that's how you can create an offline recovery for your mac this is very important if you only have one mac because you can't carry a bootable usb drive all the time and internet recovery is not only slow but also sucks sometimes so friends if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one